Welcome all. In this lecture, we shall add a Docker file to the WebAssembly app and complete the Docker file to create a Docker image. Also understand the completed Docker file. So let's flip over to Visual Studio now. Now this was the project we created in last lecture, Docker Blazor WebAssembly demo. Now in this lecture, I'll have to add a Docker file. So how can I add a Docker file without any file extension? It's an empty Docker file without any extension. So I have a command. So I will click on tools, command line. I could use either of the developer command prompt or the PowerShell. So let's use command prompt. And um, the command to create a, an empty file is type null and it is greater than symbol and then the name of the file which is docker file okay hit enter and the file will be created in front of you so this is the empty docker file now let's fill this empty docker file and then we'll discuss so we'll start from the from line if you have already seen my last lecture the video on uh, Blazor server assembly with the docker file I, you must be familiar with the from keyword so from mcr so i'll be taking the full sdk image from microsoft hub docker hub micro soft mcr.microsoft.com slash dot net it's always a better idea to copy it on your clipboard and then paste it just to avoid any mistakes but you know let us take this risk .NET code then SDK and colon 3.1 as build environment okay so in this line I am pulling an image you know from Microsoft this uh, full software SDK 3.1 version for my build environment and then in this line I'm setting the work directory on the container as app directory and then copy everything to the work directory and then a run run command dot net dot net publish and c switch means configuration and release configuration and then o for output so output will be um, written to the output directory and output directory will be created okay so that is the first part of the um, docker image and the next docker image will be i mean next part will be i'll be pulling an nginx nginx alpine image which is a lightweight nginx which is a reverse proxy server and a load balancer and this will be used to serve our static web pages so work directory will be front slash user slash share slash nginx slash html it takes a little bit of time okay that's my problem in my mouse and then copy over everything from previous stage of publish so from equals now build environment I'll be copying from the build environment which has actually published the application at the output directory so from build environment will be publishing to the container output directory which is app slash output slash dot dot root 
and then dot take it in the current directory hmm. so that's it now this is uh, let us again revise what we have learned so in this first section this is the first section in this first section this first section is going to build our app we are using microsoft's official .NET SDK Core 3 SDK image as the base for the build and work directory is set up as app directory on the container front slash app and then copy all the contents to the container work directory and then publish the release version on the output directory with .NET publish and in the second stage or the final stage nginx alpine image is pulled from the docker hub and then work directory on the container is set as this directory user front slash cl front slash um, nginx front slash html this is the directory where we will serve our application from finally everything is copied from the previous published stage in this line last line to the container current directory app output dub 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 root folder so in this lesson we have learned how to add a docker file empty docker file to the project and we have completed the docker file and discussed how it works to create the image.